Fellas, AC here. Welcome to another video. Now, I've been thinking about doing this video because there are many fragrances in my collection which don't cost a lot of money, but they smell amazing. And I, what I've done is I've picked up about seven of them, which I think are very suitable for autumn. In the past, about two years ago, I did another video where I did 10 autumn fragrances under 30 pounds. I'll put a link to that video on this one. So there's some extra fragrances there, but I can't remember which ones I picked then. Since then I've added a few, so I thought I'll do basically really excellent autumn fragrances, which are under 30 pounds. Yeah, most of them are, except one. And I think I've reviewed most of them. So let's start, yeah. Now, autumn is a, fra is a season when you get sweet fragrances smell very good, but as long as they're not extra sweet or sugary sweet so that they smell juvenile they go very well in all occasions the first one is a fragrance which i reviewed about two and a half years ago and when i reviewed it two and a half years ago i gave it a 10 out of 10. i don't think i've changed my mind because i just put a spray on my wrist and i think i still think it's one of the best gps i've got in my collection it is called nabil's um kaltat al jabria now i will put the name of the fragrance in the description you can check it out this is still i think under 15 pounds now when you spend so little money your expectation is very low and this one exceeds those expectations and it actually smells like a very expensive montal a hint of it and that is montal's black oud which is one of the most famous montal fragrances in fact black oud made montal what is what it is today ah oh, man you have to be very patient with this one. The first 30 minutes is going to be a bit of a meh kind of a thing. And few wears and you will get converted, I promise you. Because once the fragrance starts drying down, it smells absolutely amazing and nobody, if you do a blind sniff, nobody can tell whether you're smelling a 15 pound fragrance or a 100 pound fragrance, right? So this, you know, Kaltat Al Jabria, which actually in Arabic means um, blended forcefully. I've reviewed this, you can check it out. It's beautifully blended rose, floral rose, um, saffron and hint of caramel with ginger. So it, there's some bright aspects. This Basically it's a rose fragrance but it's got small small aspects which make this fragrance amazingly interesting and a beautiful you know weather, sorry fragrance to wear in this weather when it's neither too cold, when it's neither too hot. It starts off sugary sweet, but I tell you, man, the way this smells at the moment on my skin is just amazing. It's about half an hour, this spray. Ah, Kaltat Al Jabria. Please try this if you like rose. If you don't like rose, you can't uh, be gutted by spending 15 quid. Less than that for such an amazing fragrance. Beautiful for date nights, you know. It's very romantic in, in smell. So that was the first entry. I've got seven. Uh, the next one. The note of sandalwood is amazing in autumn. In fact, sandalwood smells amazing in any weather, provided it's been created properly. This one, now sandalwood is very expensive. Now, I was testing it this morning because I wanted to do this video. I was testing my cheapies and this one, this fragrance, Rasasi Alvisam Evening, uses a note of sandalwood which is just outstanding. It's very similar to the sandalwood I smelled in, um, well, the real sandalwood, Mysore sandalwood. Mysore sandalwood has a very unique and distinct smell. It has this earthiness. Sometimes it smells as if the smell of sandalwood has been mixed with the smell of, let's say, petroleum, that kind of earthiness to it. Very slight hint, not, not petroleum, petroleum, slight hint. That's what the sandalwood here smells. And it's combined with a beautiful note of galvanum. And the middle stage of this fragrance is no less than Creed's Royal Oud. Not joking. Galbanum sandalwood. What a beautiful combination. The middle stage of this fragrance is like Creed's Royal Oud. One of the best Creed's in my opinion. Now, please try it out. I have reviewed it. You can check the review out. It's for a cheapie, you know, less than 20 pounds or slightly over 20 pounds, you couldn't get a better fragrance and it smells so authentic when it comes to the sandalwood note. 
excellent for evening time. This is a mild fragrance with mild sillage and project projection. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one is a beast. Uh, so office wear would be beautiful for this fragrance, you know. When it's a little bit cloudy and muggy, sandalwood does magic. So Alvisam evening by Rasasi. Alvisam day is most popular. This one isn't talked about. Check it out. This is a hidden gem. Well, the next one on my list is actually just a superb fragrance. I've re reviewed it recently. People have gone ahead and bought it after my review and come back and confirmed to me that it's a killer fragrance. It really is. It is Zadig and Voltaire's This Is Him. Now, This Is Him is a fragrance by Natalie Lawson. Natalie Lawson is a queen. I call her the queen of budget fragrances. This has got a killer vanilla. Absolutely amazing. This is a synthetic fragrance. Those two don't smell synthetic. This one smells a little bit synthetic to start with because of a very synthetic pepper. That vanilla is amazing and that vanilla is combined with little hint of incense and the dry down brings in a synthetic Indian sandalwood. Amazing. This fragrance is absolutely amazing. It's monstrous in terms of projection, performance. It's absolutely heavy duty fragrance. Use with caution. You can wear it to any occasion you please, but just watch the sprays and get yourself used to the fragrance. It's really, really fine fragrance. My favorite bit is the middle bit. When the incense combines with the sandalwood, the pepper and vanilla and creates this amazing aura. Absolutely fabulous. This is him is a very good name. So that was number three in the list. Number four in the list is a fragrance which I bought recently. I haven't reviewed this yet. <clears throat> Those three I've reviewed. Number four in the list is by a brand which gets very little talk. It's a fabulous brand, creates amazing fragrances for very affordable prices. I've reviewed one of them. I'm yet to review this one. It is Him by Hanai Mori. That was This Is Him. This is Him by Hanai Mori. This is an EDT version. It is fabulous. It's absolutely amazing oriental woody fragrance. The notes are cinnamon, violet leaf. If you follow me on Instagram, this was my scent of the day in the morning. This is what I posted. And along with violet leaf, I can't remember. I think there's a note of tonka. There's tonka in here. So beautiful, woody, spicy cinnamon, beautiful sp spicy cinnamon with violet leaf. Now this one is compared to Gucci Purum 2. Some people compare it. I unfortunately can't remember. I think I've smelled Gucci Purum 2. I never smelled it. I can't remember. That's besides the point. This is a very beautiful, spicy, woody, oriental smell that the dry down of this fragrance is magical. It brings in a smell of warm milk, you know, which really, really is one of my favorite smells. You know, warm milk. Who doesn't like warm milk? So you can wear this daytime. It suits the daytime. You can wear this to office. Just watch the sprays because this has got serious, serious projection. Again, synthetic but very good performance and smells amazing, yeah? So, Him by Hanai Mori, this is EDT. I haven't tried the EDP, so I couldn't tell you. I wish I had. Well, last three. Next one on my list is a 10 out of 10 or close to 10 out of 10. This is a fabulous Oriental. Again, another Oriental fragrance. It is Jaipur by Boucheron EDP. I got both the versions. I really enjoy this one. This is a bit more nicer. It's got tons of citruses in the opening. When you first spray it, uh, you'll feel as if you sprayed a citrus fragrance and then comes in a fantastic cinnamon. Then there's beautiful tonka and an amazing rose. It's a proper oriental fragrance. This, whenever I spray this, I feel as if I'm in the mood to celebrate. I've done a full review of this fragrance. Check this out. What a fantastic fragrance this is, guys. Very opulent, very rich, but it's not a beast. It's like a gentle giant. So this kind of fragrances would be amazing for close encounter situations, uh, even um, celebrations, family celebrations or festivals. You can wear this to work. It's very gentlemanly, old school, old fashioned, but not dated. Yeah, very refined fragrance. It was released, I believe, in 1997. So it's yeah, about 22 years old. So fabulous choice for autumn. Um, you know, I can't be without this fragrance in my collection. I can tell you that. Whenever autumn comes, 
I have to spray Jaipur EDP. It's just fabulous. Next on my list is a blockbuster fragrance. Again, something which is, that's the only fragrance by the way. Jaipur is the only fragrance which is over 30 pounds in this collection. The rest are all under 30, yeah? 100 ml. Next on my collection is an absolute blockbuster. Absolute blockbuster. It smells amazing. It smells, it costs less than 15 pounds. It is by Ard Al Zafran, is the Arabian company. I have reviewed this one. It's called Oud 24 Hours. Oud 24 Hours is basically a take on Tom Ford's Black Orchid, which is a very popular fragrance. Men wear it as well. I've recently tried it. I'll do a head to head comparison if you want, but I found Black Orchid going a bit feminine. This doesn't go feminine. It's powdery. It's got tons of notes, beautiful oud, but the main thing that does it for me is a beautiful note of dark chocolate combined with orange. What a beautiful scent this is, guys. Absolutely amazing, you know? It's just worth every penny. It smells really rich and lush, so you can wear this in the evening time. You're taking your girlfriend out or your wife out for a meal. This smells outstanding, very romantic. And don't wear this to work because it doesn't fit the work ambiance or the work environment. But the fragrance, oh man, this fragrance is just outstanding. It's very sensual, sexy, mysterious kind of a fragrance, yeah? Oud 24 hours. Check out my full review. You can, you, basically, you should have this. It's a must-have fragrance in your collection, yeah? You can't go wrong with this. Now, the final fragrance of the collection, again, last must-have autumn scent. I've done a full review. I think this is very close to 10 as well. It's again a creation by Natalie Lawson. Some of you might have guessed it. It is Encre Noir Al Extreme by Lalique. Now in some countries I understand Laliques are not cheap, but in most countries, at least in the UK, I can only go by UK prices, it, this is a cheapie. It's under 30 pounds for 100 ml and the smell is probably a 100 pound smell. It's absolutely fabulous vetiver. It's very earthy and it's combined with the smell of deep incense. And then there's this lemony resinousness to it along with cypress. These four notes are my amazing favorite notes. And this smells amazing, really, really fine scent. It's masculine, it's mysterious. It's a, I think I love to wear this evening time. I want this to work as well. The only caution I'd like to uh, talk to you about is don't spray it on your shirt because it, the vetiver here smells a little bit like diesel when you spray it on your shirt and it dries down. So wear it on your skin and I think you will enjoy this a lot. One of the best vetiver fragrances for cold weather. What a fragrance this is guys. Done a full review, you can check it out. And that's the end of the list, seven of them. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you find some of these fragrances to be highly likable as I do. Take care. Bye-bye.